do with quarter, a quarter of an hour. Look at that. And again, I, th I think you should find that quite strange because I certainly do. You know, as soon as you have a different fraction that's not a half, um, half you do often just say, well, most of the time you see it without an article before it. But quarter, we say a quarter of an hour, a quarter of um, the students, meaning you know 25% of the students, a quarter of the students. And so with other fractions, a quarter, a third, you do see an article there every single time. And so, yeah, a quarter of an hour, a third of my wages I spend on, I don't know, um, uh, my mortgage, something like that. A third of my wages. Yeah. So we do have an article before the other fractions. OK, all other quantifiers. And I mean, not all, not both, not half, but all of the other ones here with an of after them. Um, all the other quantifiers you must include of before the main determiners, before articles, before demonstratives and before possessives. And so here are some examples. One of these days. Yeah, you can't just say one these days. You've got to say one of these days, most of the time. Neither of Peter's nephews, very few of my friends. You've got to put the of in for all of these because of the my or the the or the these. Some of the blame, yeah, I took some of the blame. Um, two of those five teachers, yeah, so you've got to use the of, two of those five teachers, and yeah, a quarter of an hour or a third of my wages. So I hope that's made the position and the order of determiners a little bit clearer. If any of you have any questions about any of this, please put them in the discussion or in the Q&A, and uh, I'll let you know what I think, and I'll see you all in the next class.